One of the first things I always do when starting a game out is add a little bit of sound. In doing so, the first thing I do when it's a character based game is add footsteps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that easily. Now most people when they're learning go into their blueprint and they try to add sounds through blueprints. Now this works and it can work but it can also cause a lot of errors and that means you're forced into having this blueprint. Oh, and it's the only one that has that setup that can use it. I'm going to show you how to set up footsteps that you can use in any blueprint. So in this project, based on the third person template, we just have our typical third person that goes from idle to run and can jump. Excuse my day night cycle. So very basic, no sounds. Let's fix that quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to go to sound. And we're going to make a new sound cue. And we're just going to call this footsteps 3P for third person. I'm going to open that, open up the sound cue editor. So with our sound cue ready, we're going to drag in a wave player. This plays a sound. Select it and then under the details panel, choose a sound. I'm going to select one that I already have from the universal sound effects pack on the marketplace. I suggest you get it, but there is always stuff you can find online. So once we've selected a sound, we can double click on it to play it. We can hit play cue, but only once we've connected our node, we can hit play cue or we can double click on the output. So now we've got a single footstep. So let's save it. Now let's integrate it into our game before we add a little bit more variety. So let's go to our animation blueprint that is driving the character's animation. So under the third person template, that is under character, third person, and in blueprint. And so animation blueprints are how you set up animations through blueprint. You see we have uh, our animation list, our our animation graph and our anim graph but what we want to focus on here is animation the third person template uses third person run for all of its walking so I'm gonna open third person run by double clicking on it under the animation tab so you see we have this thing called notifies here I'm gonna hit pause and go to frame one at the very beginning so it's not looping you see we have notifies this is where if you right click and add notify notify state you can add all sorts of things you can see play particle effect play sound new not new notify add notify state time particles effect or trail and you can manage your notifies so we want to add a sound so we're gonna add notify play sound so now wherever we drag this it's going to play a certain sound now we can just choose a simple sound if that that works in its own right you can do that but using the sound cue lets us do some cooler things so we're going to select play sound and then under the details the sound we want to play is the one we just made called footsteps underscore 3p right there so we'll select that now if we hit play at the start of the loop we get our footstep. Let's now, since the first frame, it takes him, a, he gets his first footstep about right there. Let's put it down right there. And then we'll probably want a second one. He actually makes a footstep, it looks like right there and right there. So that kind of borderline. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste. Now that is going to be too long, unfortunately. I think I'm just going to put it at the beginning for ease of use. Let's see how that sounds. It's cheesy, but it works. So now that we've added those two notifies, all we have to do is hit save. Now let's go into our game and try it out. We'll start running. It works but that's kind of cheesy you don't want your sound to be the same every time so how do we change that well let's disconnect our wire let's use the random node this is one of my favorite nodes and let's add some inputs depending on how many sounds you have so I'm gonna connect my first sound to my first random node input and I'm gonna copy this a bunch of times I think eight and so I'm going to select a different sound for each one. So under this one, I select two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now we have all different, all eight sounds. 
Now we have some variety. So we'll just wire this into eight different inputs on our random node. And then we'll put our output to our sound cue output. Now when we play our output, I'm gonna double click on it a few times. Watch how it selects sounds. So it selects them randomly, pretty cool. And you can uh, you can weight sounds too, so you can make certain sounds play more often than others. Anyways, let's save that and let's see what that's done already. So I'm gonna hit play. As you can see, it sounds way more realistic already. You can go a little bit further. Sometimes what I like to do is copy this entire thing, paste it again, and then put another random in. Whoops. And then wire each of those randoms into this, and then put that into my output. Now, it'll select very randomly. And then down here, I might use different sounds, maybe some, maybe some asphalt. All right, let's check this out now. So let's save. Let's see how that sounds. Now obviously the metal the metal would not make a lot of sense in here, but you can see how that adds a lot more of variety. And then we can use all sorts of uh, things on our sounds in here. All sorts of things. Very, very fun to play with. And it's all based on animation. So say for the jump animation, at the end of the jump, right when he hits the ground, we'll scrub through the timeline, right when he hits the ground, we could add a notify, play sound. I'm not going to make a cue this time, I'm just going to select the sound. I'm going to select, let's see if, let's see what we got, um, so we're going to choose a grunt. Now, let's see how that sounds. That'll work. So let's play again. Now we can run. And when we jump and hit the ground, Pretty cool, eh? So that's all I have to show you. That's that's an easy way to add a little bit of uh, your first sounds to your game when you're prototyping. So anyways, thanks for watching from the team here at Unreal Tech at DivisionOfBlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're on social media on all the links on your screen. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why so we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. We also take requests. See you next time. Remember, create your way.